Hi folks, in case you haven't heard, this week we will be celebrating the Lord's Supper for the first time since our uh, Corona days began. Uh, we'll be doing a drive-in communion service, so this week we'll be talking about the sacrament of the Lord's Supper and what that means for us. Augustine describes sacraments as a visible sign of an invisible grace. Uh, it's a little bit like the little girl who runs into mommy and daddy's room at night during a thunderstorm and dad goes to his little girl and says, honey, it's okay. You could stay in bed. Don't you know that God is with you wherever you are? And the little girl says, yes, daddy, but right now I need God with skin on. That's not exactly what's happening in the Lord's Supper, but it is a way in which the Lord comes close to us in a particular way. While we know different faith traditions understand Jesus' presence uh, in different ways in the sacrament, we understand the power and presence of the Holy Spirit is here when we celebrate the Lord's Supper. So Luke 22, verses 14 through 20, let me share this with you. When the hour came, Jesus reclined at the table, and the apostles were with him. This is celebrating the Passover meal, which turned into the Lord's Supper the day before Jesus' crucifixion. And Jesus said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Jesus eagerly desired to share in this meal, this sacrament, with his disciples who'd been through so much with him over three years together. It's a little devotional book. I don't know how easy it is to get these days. It is called Enjoy the Silence, a 30-Day Experiment in Listening to God by Maggie and Duffy Robbins. It's a great little book. And Maggie shares a devotional in a passage related to this, encouraging us to think about Jesus inviting us to the table, even to recline our head on his breast as the disciple whom Jesus loved, John, did. What does it feel like for us to approach the Lord's table that he has given himself uh, to not only take our place, but to strengthen us for his service? I'm guessing these days we've got a variety of emotions we may be experiencing. Jesus eagerly desires that we come and share this sacrament with him. It is a visible sign of the invisible, constant grace that Jesus offers us. Our music today is uh, a song by John Michael Talbot, I Am the Bread of Life. Uh, Talbot, Catholic, may have a slightly different understanding of what's happening here in the sacrament, but really what we're understanding is Jesus is feeding our souls, feeding our spirits 